it started, they've sold over 26 million albums, just made history by scoring the most top 40 hit charts. And after four years, they are back with the new CD, The End. I have a feeling it's not. Please welcome Will I Am, Fergie, Apple the App, and Taboo, better known as the Black Eyed Peas. Astro Boy, I'm loving it. Very Astro Boy. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta say, this is the end. This is your fifth album, right? Yeah. And there's nothing simmering about it because it is a single boom boom pow has held number one on the Hot 100 chart for nine consecutive <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Will you tell us what is, what is the end? Why, why call it that? And then also boom boom pow. Okay, well, you tell. Which one to start with? Boom boom pow or the end first? The end. Okay, okay the end is like. It means a lot of things, but it's the end of rumors that the Black Eyed Peas are breaking up, one. Okay. Because we're not. Good. Um, it's the end of an era. Um, the music industry, mm. you know, isn't really that much of an industry anymore. Mm -hmm. So Change. we're just, you know, really painting a picture of what, you know, what is going on. There, there are no record stores. But yet, you know, we're still enthused to make a record and, and really connect with our fans online. And so you're doing that. With, with the, the end of the industry is the beginning of a new um, phenomenon, and that's that interaction, you know, going to dipdive.com, and we interact with our fans on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Oh, so. okay. Dipdive.com, you said? Yeah, yeah. And then Boom Boom Pow? Boom Pow is like, psh, knock them out, like... It's the sound effects of knocking them out. <laughs> well, since you're my mom. <laughs> and I'm really glad you all are not breaking up because you're one of the greatest bands yeah. ever. Um, <laughs> how did it feel to, to get together? Because I'm sure, you know, people don't realize that people get, they have a very busy schedule, each yeah. and every one of you, so suddenly you're now got the time everybody says we can go in and let's do it now so is that how it worked itself out you know we're just enthused to you know make music together and travel and tour the world like a couple of days ago we were in japan and this is like the beginning of you know us promoting the end and and it feels great and when we recorded it we flew to um to london when fergie was filming nine to like get it started again and whatnot so it was like it feels good. And the thing about it is that we're very supportive of each individual project. Right. Whether Will was doing X-Men or mm -hmm. campaigning right. with Obama, or Fergie was doing Nine, Apple was doing uh, the movie uh, Subject, Subject I Love Subject, You. Subject I Love You in the Philippines. <laughs> right. And I actually got to do a movie called Street Fighter, and I actually like to present you with a gift. Is that okay? Yeah. Sure. We like it. Uh -oh. Did you bring one with you? A Street Fighter? No, I actually bought something better. Oh, okay. And this is the cover. Upside down, baby. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Sorry, guys. Yeah, yeah all right. Yeah. Well, like new beginning. Yeah, check this cool. out, check this out. Sorry it was uh, upside down, but check it out. Ladies. Uh -oh. Okay. Promotion. Okay. 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 You know. I like that. Black Eyed Peas. Taking this from you makes me a cougar. <laughs> now I have become a cougar. Okay. All right, let me have something. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, you talked about all the I projects. Like, I'm sorry. No, I just, I wanted to say. Fergie, you got married to Josh Duhamel. It was a January, right? Yeah. You guys, so for your wedding, I, everyone wanted to know all about it. You did some specific things to keep it as private as possible, right? Yeah. What did you do? Well, hiring Mindy Weiss was the key, and uh, okay. she was our uh, wedding coordinator, and she was just she saved my life. She was amazing because, you know, uh, in 2008, I could have done this huge, you know, big production tour for the Duchess, and I didn't. I chose to do spot dates and. Uh, just do that and kind of take a break because, you know, touring five and a half years with Ella Funk, Monkey Business, and the Duchess, I was burnt out mentally and sure. I knew that I wasn't prepared to go on that full fledged thing and I, you know, I could still do that at any time. But, you know, something happened. You know, God made me an offer I couldn't refuse and that was uh, <laughs> nine, the musical. Yes, yeah. how you like Rob Marshall? No, he was amazing. Yes. So nurturing and, and just a wonderful director who really gives you the time right. and the, the instruction to really help you dive into the character. Right. But during that time, I'm planning my wedding. Instead of having a break, I'm right. filming nine. Right. No. And so the guys say, okay, they bring the whole band, they bring our band Bucky Johnson mm. and, and we just set up shop in London and 
and that's how we did it. Too. But keeping the wedding secret was was kind of hard. But yeah. she she helped out with that. We did you know email right. invites, last minute and, info to guests too. I heard yeah, is a good yeah, thing. Yeah. I did. And it was, it was really cool. good because you know a lot of people there were names, and we wanted people to be able to kind of get rowdy and have a good time and not be uh, scared that their picture was going to be taken and right. you know their phone pictures. So we it was, and everyone had a great time and was very present there. So and I'm told that you've been in, you were in uh, Wolverine down in Australia, yeah. and uh, some of the music has been got a little influence from there. Is that true? Yeah, I was out there for like. <laughs> from uh, February to June. Mm -hmm. And uh, after like, we would film on the weekends on Fraudies, Saturdays, Sundays. That's an Australian accent, you know, they say Fraudies. And I was going out to the clubs, yeah. and the clubs were like dope, like dance music. They didn't really play that much hip hop. It was like cool, like banging beats. Right. So I was, I was, <laughs> <laughs> I was out there just like, you know, just absorbing like the culture and whatnot. I right. came home and the dudes are like, so how was it filming X-Men? I was like, dude, the clubs were so crazy. And so that's why the music was yeah. like, I, I fell Influence. in love with the music. Yes, yeah, mad influence. Apple. I'm going to ask you about the music too. Apple the app. Can I call you Apple? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Um, the, there were 60, to, as opposed to Apple the app. Um, Apple the app. The, there were 60 songs that you guys created for this 100. album, right? 100? Yeah. 100. Narrowed down to 15. Yeah. So how do you even begin to just slice it up and decide what's going to make it or not? Well, um, you know, we had to make sure that the next song had the same energy as the last song, the previous right. song that we recorded. So uh, that's how we picked the songs. The songs had to be like, because we were influenced into dance music, so yeah. it had to be... All kind of had that. Yeah. I okay. had that energy with it, you know? They do. And plus, like, the, the rest of the songs, they're not going to waste because, you know, thank God for the internet, we could, like, update the album, uh -huh. give bonuses, you know what I mean? That's so, great. you know. I didn't instead, instead, that. Of, instead of looking at the album as, like, a closed capsule of, like, here's our 15 songs, like, online, like, on Dip Dive, we could, like, treat the music and album like, like a music journal. To where we're always cool. uploading and changing right. things and More having that, yeah, I having think that's that relationship. So cool. I think the music industry is serving you guys well, and you are giving us so much to look forward to. It is not the end. The Black Eyed Peas perform right now their number one hit, Boom Boom Pow, and we come back to so sit right there. We're excited to hear it. With the black eyed peas. Hey guys, hey, well, this hi. is us with you. So, Will, you say that now, you used to be a fashion designer. Yeah. And you say that making music is so much easier. Now, how so? Well, you know, music is expressing how I'm feeling right now at this given moment. So, making a song is, you know, it's instantaneous. Like designing right. like a jacket for like next winter. Uh huh. You know, that, that's a little. It's too delayed. Okay. Yeah, you know what I mean? I like making jackets for, like, right now. <laughs> yeah. Not, like, having to, you know, like, hey, let's see what people will be wearing, like, next December. Like, that's a yeah. little, like, you know. You know Apple, <laughs> I was reading uh, in the notes that your mother sent you to the United States when you were 14 years old from the Philippines, correct? Yeah. And you were then adopted by an American family. Yeah. Tell, tell us a little about that. So, um, yeah, I grew up in the Philippines, and uh, my dad's white. He adopted me when I was 14. The American me, father. Yeah, mm -hmm. and brought me to the U.S. Um, Dad, if you're watching, Joe Ben Hudgens, I owe, <laughs> I owe it all to you. Mr. Uh Hudgens. -huh. And, um, and uh, Will's uncle was roommate with uh, my adopted father, and that's how me and Will met. They, oh, I, I see. He needed a babysitter on the weekdays yeah. before he goes to work, and then that's how I met Will. He really? Took, he took me to his house. Look at that. And, uh, so something like, wonderful What do you guys do in the Philippines? Uh, you know? Well, I just learned this new dance move. It's called the the Running Man, and yeah. you know, I, I did it all funny. Like. <laughs> Do you, go so, back, you know. do you go back to the Philippines every once in a while? Oh yeah, I go He's back. The ambassador of tourism. Yeah. As a matter of fact, like Jude, what I'm saying is Jude is like, you know, anybody in America that's equivalent to like right. how, you know, what Apple means to the Philippines. He's a little humble. But like we went back and the whole army was there like watching oh, the show. Wow. Like You're they gave him a day like what J July 20 uh 6 26 is Alan Pineda day. Wow. Really? That must We're at feel the airport. Good. Yeah. And people the workers are like Alan Pineda, we have offerings. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? We're like, That's "Oh, right, yeah, this is yeah, crazy." Yeah. Speaking of uh, speaking of offerings, we have offerings for yeah. you here to perform Boom Boom Pow off their new CD The End. Please welcome the Black Eyed Peas. <laughs> 